Hello yogis, welcome to your at-home yoga practice. Thank you so much for showing up and sharing your practice and sharing your shine. You are here, I am here. We are going to breathe and stretch and strengthen and flow together. And to start our practice off right here, right now, let's just invite a moment to be in soft appreciation for creating and cultivating the time and the space to be available to ourselves, to come home to our body, to come home to our heart, to our heart consciousness, and to come home to our breath. And a phrase that has been Oh, really life affirming and supportive for me these past few weeks. And it's even a phrase that I shared in a former video and a yoga student of mine highlighted in an email. So thank you to, to that student. And that phrase is, here I am, I am here. Here I am, I am here. Because so often, we can find ourselves not being here, being up in our minds, which can, they have the beautiful capacity and the imagination, right, to time travel forward and back. And yet the power and the beauty and the vitality of life happens right here. And when we are right here, we actually are cultivating the presence to respond in a way to whatever is with us in that moment. We are cultivating the presence and staying connected to our intuition and to our intelligence to respond in a way that is aligned with our values, that is aligned with how we really want to show up in the world. So here I am, here you are, I am here, you are here, and we are going to begin our practice actually standing up. So invite a few moments uh, to rise, to stand, to feel your feet connecting to the ground, to the mat, to lift your right foot and then your left. So an instant way to leave our minds, right, the, the narratives of the mind and come home to our body is actually by bringing our awareness down into the soles of our feet. So maybe lift your toes and then press into the four corners of each foot and then settle your toes down and let there be some softness in your knees as you stand up nice and tall. And the peace activist and Buddhist monk Tit Nhat Han says, I have arrived. I am home. I am no longer running from myself. I have arrived, right? You have arrived. You're pressing your feet down. I am home. We are finding home within ourselves. I am no longer running from myself. So when we come into mountain pose, when we come into the standing position, we aren't running away from what is present in our heart. We're not running away from our thoughts because we are going to move into a place of internal witnessing where our thoughts are just going to pass by. We don't have to believe everything that we think. We're going to practice being discerning. We are practicing grounding down. You are arriving by pressing into your feet. You are arriving by standing tall. You are arriving as your heart opens. You are arriving as your hands settle so sweetly down by your sides. And then you can soften your gaze here, or you can invite your eyes to gently close, whatever would feel comfortable for you. So having a practice where the foundation is support, the foundation is care, the foundation is working with yourself, right? That feels like home, your own inner home of safety, support, radical compassion. Let that be your foundation as you soften your inner gaze. So eyes gently open, your eyes gently close. 
as you relax your jaw and you relax your shoulders, as you invite your awareness to travel down, down, down into the feet, as you invite your awareness to travel down, down, down into your fingertips and into your palms so you can feel the presence of air on your skin. And as you feel the presence of the air that surrounds you, feel, sense, connect with your breath. Just letting the breath come to you and drinking in your inhale when you're ready, just slow and steady. And just letting your out breath flow all the way out. Easy, gentle breaths. A breath that meets you, that opens up your inner world, your outer world. A breath that opens up your heart a little bit more. The you who is standing right here. And the next time that you breathe in, breathe all the way in and invite your in-breath to just energize your fingers, to energize your fingertips into the air. So just stretching out your fingers. Here I am. And then as you exhale, gather your hands so slowly as if they're moving through honey to your heart your heart center. So your palms are pressing into the universe of your heart and the heart is beaming back. I am here. I am here. Present in this heartbeat, present in this breath, present for whatever is arising. You have the capacity to breathe and embrace in tender, and affectionate attentiveness, all aspects of yourself. As you breathe in, again, invite the hands to gently part and the palms open by your side. Here I am, breathing in, standing tall. As you breathe out, gather the palms once more back to your heart center. I am here. Breathing in, let your arms open out by the sides. Here I am. And when you're ready, letting the hands come back to your heartbeat. Breathing, I am here. And just inviting a moment where the hands can stay resting at the heart, where the hands can stay resting by your side. And inviting your breath to illuminate the entirety of your being, to have those phrases, here I am, I am here, send comfort, send presence, send reassurance, you belong, belonging to yourself, as you are right here, right now. And then the next time that you breathe out, breathe all the way out, full and complete. So your awareness travels down, 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 back into your feet, softening the jaw, softening the shoulders, softening the area around your heart. And when you're ready, if the hands are already there, letting the hands be by your sides. Stretch out your fingers. And with your in-breath, let the arms circle up. Here I am. And then as you breathe out, the palms will meet and the thumbs will trace the midline of the body. I am here. 
Inhale, inviting the arms to circle up. Here I am, palms meet, thumbs trace the midline. I am here. Once more, inhale, maybe blinking the eyes open. If they're not already open, just letting the room come to you as you trace the fingertips up. Here I am, exhaling, thumbs trace the midline. I am here. Pressing into the feet, inhale, circle, rise. This time as you breathe out, big bend in the knees and sink all the way down like water. Take hold of opposite elbows and gently sway. And have a generous bend in your knees as your heart gets heavy, moving towards the head and the head towards the ground. Letting the upper body have an opportunity to just relax. Breathing into the backs of the legs, so greeting or meeting sensation with the fullness of your breath. Here I am. I am here. And then letting the fingertips trace down, press into your feet. And let the inhale lengthen the spine, lift through the backs of the ribs. The hands can lovingly trace up the sides of the legs. Press your hands into the hips. The hips press back. Rise. Inhale. Circle the arms up. Here I am. Palms meet. Thumbs trace the midline. I am here. We will begin to flow into some Standing sun salutations as a way to continue to connect mindful movement to mindful breath. Always go at your pace, right? Honor and nurture yourself. Let's begin. As you inhale, circle the arms up. As you exhale, swan dive. Lead with your heart. Your arms come out to the side, circling down towards the ground. Inhale, lengthen your spine halfway. Bring your fingertips to your shins. Think about your shins pressing into your fingertips and the fingertips pressing back so your collarbones can get long and your spine is long. Be present in this in-between space, which is rich in insights, rich in life force, can be rich in mindfulness, right? The in-between space. And then as you breathe out, close this space, move back into a standing forward fold. Inhale, circle your arms all the way up, arise. Lift your gaze, palms meet, thumbs trace the midline. Pause in front of your heart center to breathe, to integrate, to feel. Here I am, I am here. When you're ready, with your inhale, circle the arms up, whoop. Exhale, swan dive, lead with your heart. Forward fold, standing forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine halfway, fingertips to the shins. The shins press into the fingertips, the fingertips press back. Exhale, release, close the space. Press into your feet so you can inhale, rise all the way up, circling the arms, lifting the gaze. Palms meet, thumbs trace the midline, pausing in front of the heart. A pause to integrate, to notice, to feel, to soften the face, to soften towards yourself. When you're ready, inhale, rise. Exhale, swan dive through air and space, lead with your heart. Inhale, lengthen your spine halfway. Mm -hmm. Belly pulls in and up, collarbones are wide. Exhale, close this space. Forward fold, press into your feet. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up, rise. Palms meet, thumbs trace the midline. Pause in front of your heart center. A pause that is rich in presence and breath. Here I am, I am here. I have arrived, I am home, I am no longer running from myself. Tit Nat Han. 
breathing, being in body, and an invitation to flow through three more standing sun salutations. So I will not cue. You're welcome to move at your own pace and go at your own time, or you can look at the video uh, for some tips and pointers, but trust your instinct, trust your body. You could be, you could do like 10 of these and feel, you know, just do what feels expansive and supportive. Um, I'll demo three and we'll just go at our own time and at our own pace. And when you're ready, inhale, rise, and then flow with the guidance of your own inner yoga instructor. And so when you're ready, when you feel satisfied and complete in those standing sun salutations, pause in your mountain pose and stand tall. The hands can be at your heart center, palms pressing into the heart or hands gathered at prayer or palms out to the side. Anything that communicates presence, a broadcasting of showing up in your energy, showing up embodied. And as you breathe here, Harnessing and noticing the heat, the energy that you are cultivating through mindful movement, through mindful breath, and let it be an energy that you can channel to any aspect or part of yourself that needs a little extra boost of, um, of vitality, of warmth, of tenderness. Here I am. I am here. I advocate for my needs. I'm no longer running from myself. I am home, home in your body, home in your energy, home in your breath. And staying close to the breath, staying open-hearted to yourself through the guidance of your breath, let's flow on, or you're welcome to flow on with this video. When you're ready, once more, inhale, circle the arms up, rise, exhale, swan dive, leave with your heart. Inhale, lengthen your spine halfway. You guys are pros. We've been here before. Exhale, release and close the space. Now from here, turn your gaze to, um, to your mat. So maybe come to the back of your mat if you're not already there. Some mindful steps back. So you'll be pointing towards the front of your mat. You can think of it like, um, like a strip where plane, planes land. A landing strip. <laughs> <laughs> invite your gaze to travel forward and we're stomping out our hands nice and loud into a plank pose a yogi push-up high five the mat with your palms puff the back of the heart to the sky breathe let the breath meet you then press the mat away with your next out breath let your heart go towards your thighs the thighs to the back of the room downward facing dog Soften the shoulders, soften your jaw, receive your in-breath as the in-breath propels the heart towards the thighs, the thighs to the back of the room, the heels squaring behind your toes. And then as you breathe out, invite your knees now to come down to the mat. They can be mat distance apart or a little closer in as you invite the tailbone down towards your heels, moving into a child's pose. So, pausing here to let your heart get heavy, to invite the forehead down, or if your forehead doesn't make contact with the mat, 
no big deal. Just bring your palms together, your hands together, and create a pillow and let the forehead rest there. In your child's pose, brighten your inner gaze. So when you turn inward, what's the quality of your inner gaze? As the yoga instructor Bo Forbes likes to say, what's the quality of your inner gaze? When you turn in, um, is it a critical gaze? Is it a soft gaze? Is it a gaze that kind of daydreams and skips backward and forward? And we're not judging, right? We're just noticing and seeing if we could invite a more um, neutral gaze or a softer gaze where we're embracing ourselves, the wholeness of ourselves, our humanness, with a little bit more understanding, a little bit more ease. Perhaps a softer and longer breath. Here I am. I am here. Feel your heart moving down towards the ground. Feel the texture beneath your toes, beneath your fingers. Feel the flow of your breath. And then as you breathe here, I'm just noticing that if you um, would benefit from more breaths here in child's pose and pause and be right here. When you're ready to proceed, we're continuing on with a flow. Press down into your hands to begin. Press down into your fingertips and into your knuckles. Spread out your fingers nice and wide like rays of sunshine. Bring your awareness into your heart. As you breathe in, lead with your heart into a cow pose. The heart is beaming in between your arms. The belly is moving down. The gaze can go to the brow. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin in. Popping into a cat pose. And then from here, tuck your toes, lift the knees up and back, downward facing dog. See the world upside down. Here I am. I am here. Heels squaring down behind the toes. Bring your awareness to your soles, to the soles of your feet. Come up nice and high on the balls of the feet. Ripple the crown of the head forward. Plank pose, yogi push up. Keep high fiving the mat. And then invite your knees down, lower belly pulls in and up, eyes at the elbows spin forward. Relax your face as you turn the gaze um, towards the top of the mat. Exhale, come halfway down, elbows hug the side body. Inhale, press the mat away, round through a cat, sink it back into a child pose, and then inhale, lift all the way up, sunflower pose. And trace a circle with your wrists, right? Relax and release your hands. Do a little shake. Some circles like butterflies. Breathe in to open and expand your heart. Here I am. I am here. And then exhale. Sink back into a child's pose. Press down into your right palm. Rock over to the right. And sweep your left arm up and over and down. Press down into your left palm. Sink over to the left. Reach your right arm up and around and down. And then invite a moment to pause, to breathe, to integrate, to notice what you notice. Soften where you can soften. Dissolving any narratives about the body, about how you're doing. This is not a performance, all right? It's a practice of being present and being present with yourself. Here I am. I am here. I have arrived. I am home. I am no longer running from myself. Thich Nhat Hanh. The invitation is to um, move into that sequence that we just did a few more times. Always go at your own pace. Always feel free to modify, change things up. And from there, you will flow. So when you're ready with your inhale, moving into your cat pose. With your exhale, round into the cat, tuck the toes, lift it back, downward facing dog. Shrug the shoulders back, belly pulls in and up. 
come nice and high on the balls of the feet, ripple forward, shoulders towards the fingertips, plank pose, invite your knees down, engage the core, belly in and up, relax your face, exhale, come halfway down, elbows hug the side body, inhale, press up, round through a cat, sink it back, child pose, inhale, lift up, let your wrists and your fingertips circle up like butterflies, releasing any, um, any tension in the wrists and the fingers. And then exhale, swim back down into a child pose. Press into your left palm, rock over to the left. Reach your right arm up and over and right palm comes down. Sink over to the right and reach your left arm up and over and sink the left palm down. Invite a slow breath in. Here I am, and a slow breath out. I am here. When you're ready, moving into the flow, inhaling into your cow pose, press into the tops of the feet. As you exhale, round through a cat, tuck the toes, press it back, downward facing dog, belly pulls in and up. Inhale, come up nice and high on the balls of the feet, ripple forward, plank pose. Invite your knees down, belly pulls in and up, relax the face, engage your core, exhale halfway down, elbows hug the side body. Inhale, press up, round through a cat, sink it back to a child pose. And then inhale, rise, release your wrist and your fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, swim back down into a child pose, press the right palm down, swim over to the left, left palm comes down, and then sink over to the left and reach the right arm up and over, right palm comes down, soften into your breath, here I am, I am here, receiving, tuning in, Remaining embodied, so not um, jumping into our mental narratives, but noticing our mind narratives as we stay relaxed and attentive to the breath, to our senses. And then once more, when you're ready and with full curiosity, and openness to the flow as if we haven't done it before and it's all new. Inhale, lead with your heart, you're in your cow pose. Exhale, round through the spine, tuck it, the toes, lift it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come nice and high on the balls of the feet, ripple forward, shoulders towards the fingertips. Invite your knees down, lower belly pulls in and up. It's like you're kind of like puffing the back of the heart to the sky as the eyes of the elbows spin forward. Relax your jaw. This time, y'all, we're going to exhale, come halfway down, pause, breathe, and then slowly lower the belly down onto the mat. Stretch your toes back. Have your hands come by your rib cage. Pull your elbows gently in towards the side of the body. Bring your gaze down, and with your inhale, lift your heart and lift your head. We're moving into a cobra pose. Now lift your hands too, so the lift is coming from your lower back and not from our arms, right? Just maintaining the integrity of the pose. Exhale, release the head down, soften the belly and the hips and the legs down to the ground. This is a flow. Inhale. Think about inhaling from the soles of your feet. So engage your legs first. So the kneecaps may lift. So we're engaging the legs. The leg bones are pulling in. We're engaging our bum, our glutes. And then we're lifting the heart and the head, pulling the elbows in, maybe letting the hands hover. Breathing. And then use your exhale to release all the way down. You can turn um, a cheek down onto the mat if that feels comfortable. And let's do this a few more times, or the invitation is to do this a few more times. Inhale, engage the feet, as if your leg bones are pulling into their sockets, engage your bum, lift through the heart and the head, slight tuck of the chin. 
So the ears are over the shoulders and the elbows pull in. Exhaling to release. And just flow with your breath. Maybe two to three more cycles. Or not. Just rest. Now when you're ready to release, um, make a pillow with your hands. Let your cheek sink down or your forehead. Relax your toes. Relax the belly and the heart. Let your back body air out as your front body sinks down into the support of the ground, feeling the rhythm of your breath moving like a wave. Belly breathing, feeling the belly breathe on the mat. Here I am, I am here. You can stay right here in this shape, receiving the breath and just resting, and that is enough. When you're ready to proceed, tuck the toes, stretch the soles of the feet back, feel that. So kindly and slowly and mindfully bring the hands underneath the shoulders, pull your elbows in, lift the head, press them out away, with an inhale, round through a cat, tuck the toes, lift it back, downward facing dog. Nice long spine, belly pulls in and up, relax the face. Feel your breath. Here I am, I am here in this upside down shape. And then inviting your gaze to travel to the legs and pressing down into the balls of the feet as you walk your hands to your feet, moving to a standing forward fold once more at the back of your mat. Take hold of opposite elbows, let the spine cascade down, let the head get heavy. You can massage your wrists. You can take your hands and rub up and down the arms, anything that communicates support, kindness, nurturing, friendliness. And then with your inhale, let's lengthen the spine halfway, that in-between space. Be present right here, right now. Exhale, back into a forward fold, press into your feet, inhale, rise all the way up. Here I am, thumbs trace the midline. I am here. And receiving a pause to receive your breath, to receive yourself in this moment. And staying close to the breath and staying open hearted to yourself and to your body and your body's needs as we continue with the flow. We're moving into a chair pose flow and then we're going to do some balance and um, yeah, we'll just, we'll stay in the present moment as we flow forward. So right now, I forget everything I just said, press into your feet, be right here, here I am, I am here. As you inhale, let's circle the arms up, and as you exhale, move into a chair pose, take a bend to the knees, move your weight into your heels, press into your palms, high five of support as the shoulders relax down and the collarbones are wide. Engage your core, belly in and up. Yeah. Now as you breathe in, this is a flow or it's welcome to be a flow. 
press into your feet, move back into a mountain pose, open your palms. Here I am, breathe in. Exhale, hands back in front of the heart, take a bend to the knees. I am here in my chair pose. Inhale into your mountain pose. Here I am, exhale, chair. I am here, this is the flow. Keep pressing into your feet, energizing your inner thighs, connecting and engaging your core. Next time you're in your chair pose, pause, relax your face, relax into your feet, relax into your breath, meet challenge and ease with the fullness of your breath. Here I am, I am here. Not checking out when there's challenge, not judging when there's challenge, if there's challenge, but just staying a little closer to your breath, to being present, to being embodied, breathing in, and then breathe out, release, standing forward, fold. From here you all um, invite a bend into your left knee and bring your left fingertips right underneath your nose. Like Pinocchio has a long nose and there's your left hand. Lengthen your spine, give some softness in your right leg here and bring your right hand to your head. You can stay right here, lengthening the spine. Or you can begin to twist, inviting the rib cage to spin over to the right. Your right hand can go to your lower back, inviting your hips to remain stable and squared. Or you can reach the right arm up, whatever feels um, expansive for your breath, keeping the neck comfortable. Breathing here. And then as you exhale, let's release and switch sides. Take a bend to the right knee. Bring your right fingertips right underneath your nose. Bring your left hand to your hip. Lengthen your spine, belly in and up. The rib cage gently spins. Your hand is welcome to go to your lower back. An invitation to keep your hips more squared. And then maybe the hand floats up. Energizing those fingertips, or maybe it doesn't. Breathing into the shape, receiving this breath. Here I am, I am here. And then exhale, let's close the space. Press into your feet, inhale, lengthen the spine halfway. Be in this in-between space. Exhale, release, standing forward fold. Inhale, circle your arms all the way up and rise. Palms meet, thumbs trace the midline. Here I am, I am here. Invite your palms to open as you stand tall. Press down, down, down into, um, hmm. we're gonna move into a tree pose. So the invitation here, actually, I've changed my mind. We're not moving into a tree pose, at least not in this video, but you're welcome to move into a tree pose. Because what we're gonna do instead, or what I'm going to invite us to do instead, is to step out long ways onto the mat into a, um, a goddess pose. So the toes will point towards the corners of the mat. This is live yoga, y'all. Improvised. So the knees will go towards the little toes, we'll press into the feet, the belly will pull in and up. Here I am, I am here. Feel down into your feet, feel the length of your spine, engage your core. Relax your face, relax your shoulders. Invite your hands to gather at your heart center. As you breathe in, you're welcome to rise, softness in the knees, reach the fingertips out to the side. Here I am, exhale, bend in the knees, knees towards the little toes, hands come back in front of the heart center. I am here. Inhale, expand, here I am. Exhale, I am here, bend in the knees, hands to the heart, flowing with your breath, here I am. Exhale, I am here. It's a flow, 
go at your own pace. You can slow down the breath and slow down the movements. See if that helps a little bit more control, a little bit more ease. And then see if there's a pose in this flow where you just want to pause for a cycle of breath and be right there, meeting yourself, meeting the breath, the breath meeting you, the pose meeting you. So it's a mutual, easy collaboration of presence. And when you're ready to release, the hands will lovingly swim to the hips. Press the hands to the hips, the hips press back, dial your toes forward, stand tall, relax the jaw, relax your awareness down into your feet. Could you be at home in your body a little bit more right here, right now? Or how could you be at home a little bit more? Body right here, right now. A slower breath, a kinder thought, and allowing for an emotion to express itself organically. And just staying in that seat of internal witnessing, attentive, enlivened, rejuvenated by your breath. And from here, as we press into our feet, as we rise through the spine, the hands lovingly come to the hips if they're not already there. Lead with your heart. I moved my hands, that's why I didn't go back. <laughs> Lead with your heart and move into um, a wide-legged forward fold. And when you arrive, bring your hands right underneath your shoulders and maybe walk your feet out a little bit. So always grant yourself the time and the space to adjust your pose so it will work for you. Walk out the feet if you need to, to press into the outer edges of the feet, the toes, or maybe kind of slightly pointing a little bit more in. Lugging or inviting your leg bones to go up into the sockets as you lengthen the spine. And then from here, walk the hands over to the right and take a bend to the right knee. Keep actively pressing into your left foot. Inhale through center and exhale to the opposite side, working the left knee towards the little toe and flowing with your breath into a water warrior flow. And when you feel satisfied and complete in these movements, pause, hands are underneath the shoulders, press into the outer edges of the feet as you lengthen the spine, bring your left hand right underneath your nose, invite your right hand to your hip, and begin to twist. The rib cage is moving towards the right leg. The hand, the right hand can lovingly um, be placed on the lower back, or you can reach the arm up, and continuing to stay long in the spine, connected to your breath, present in the pose, and then exhale, release, and move to the opposite side, lengthen the spine, right hand underneath the nose, left hand lovingly comes to the side of the hip, or maybe to the lower back as you lengthen the spine and the rib cage gently twists. The hand is welcome to rise or you can stay on the lower back. And the invitation here is just to keep your hips squared and level. There's actually some counter thoughts on that. Um, so kind of just, I would just say let's keep the hips level and stable for right now. And just kind of breathing and feeling into the pose. Here I am, I am here. 
And then as you breathe out, let's release. Take hold of opposite elbows. Let the head get super heavy as the heart um, gets an opportunity to shine above the head as if our heart consciousness, that great depth of compassion and tenderness could just merge into the mind. And then when you're ready, inhale to lengthen the spine and bring your awareness into your feet as you toe, heel, toe, heel, the feet together. I like to think of a tap dancing penguin for whatever reason. And the feet are coming home and you're in a standing forward fold. You can have a big bend to the knees, so just release. Then as you inhale, lengthen the spine halfway, collarbones are wide, exhale to close the space, pivot your feet um, or walk your feet to the back of the mat, pivot the toes forward so you're on that landing strip because I've got that nice landing strip where we're going to take a bend to the knees and stomp out your hands here. I am, I am here. High five the mat. Puff the back of the heart up. Invite your knees down. Slowly lower the belly down to the earth. Nice and controlled. Stretching the toes back when you arrive. And the hands come by the rib cage. Inhale into your cobra pose by stretching the toes back. Plugging the leg bones in, engage your bum, and then soften the bum, so we're not clenching. And then the heart lifts, slight tuck of the chin, relax your face. Exhale, release. And three more. Inhale, engaging, lifting the heart and the head. Exhale, release. Flow with your breath. And on your next cobra pose, here I am, I am here, and exhale, make a pillow with the hands and rest, rest the belly down, rest the heart down, rest the head down, and let the back body air out towards the sky, and let the front body receive the nurturing, the holding of the ground. The next time you breathe out, breathe all the way out, full and complete. Like if you could just surrender down a little bit more, be it some tension or some holding, or just creating a little bit more space for you to feel whatever you need to feel without any judgment or resistance. Bring yourself up. Deep breath, your embodied presence. And staying close to the breath, staying close to yourself, staying open to yourself as the hands maneuver kindly underneath the shoulders. We're pulling the elbows kindly up. Tucking the toes, engaging the soles of the feet, engaging the legs. As we press the mat away, round through a cat, and press into a downward facing dog. The heart goes to the thighs, the thighs to the back of the room. Shrug the shoulders, release the jaw. And then with your next 
um, out breath. Invite your knees to come down and press back into a child's pose or um, come to rest on your belly again. Just moving into a shape where you can pause and integrate and breathe. Just inviting a moment where you notice. So when we, if you're in stillness, Right now, sometimes when we're still, the mind gets even louder. And so we may be wondering, am I doing this mindfulness or this meditative movement thing right? And yeah, you actually are. You're just noticing your thoughts. And sometimes they can get louder before they get a little bit more quiet. And just in that noticing, where'd you go? Did you time travel? Did you go forward or backward? It's normal for the mind to want to rehash or review or rehearse. So just lovingly notice and, and practice coming back home. Here I am. I am here. And if you find that resting in child's pose or resting on your belly or maybe you're just doing your own sequence and you're loving that, then keep doing it. Keep doing what nurtures and expands your breath and your embodiment. And I love that word embodiment because, because it's really inviting us to be um, energetically aware and attentive in our senses, right? In the intelligence of our body. When we're embodied, we're connected to our instinct and to our intuition, which communicates through sensation, through the constriction or the expansiveness of the breath. So nurture whatever brings you home, right? As Thich Nhat Hanh says, whatever helps you feel like you have arrived in your body. And if you're ready or when you're ready to proceed with this part of the video, I invite you to move into a dignified, comfortable seat. So the bum will be making contact with the ground, the legs will be arranged in a way that feels uh, anchoring and grounding and supported. Sit tall, so show up for yourself, show up to this moment, and not in a way to force force anything or, or strive to be a certain way, but more like showing up and having that capacity, that consciousness to just cradle whatever is going on right here, right now in your body, in your heart, everything that's coming with your brain. And staying close with your breath. And as you inhale, lengthen the spine in both directions. So you're rooting down and you're rising up. And once more, that idea of leading with the heart. So the hands can just rest on the chin and begin to lead your heart down towards the ground and just ripple your arms out onto the mat or to the floor as you move into a forward fold. And relaxing and brightening into your internal gaze as you receive the breath, as you receive yourself. Here I am, I am here. You can stay in your forward fold, receiving a breath, or you can move um, into another part of the sequence, right? Inhale, pump out the fingers and lengthen uh, the spine and the arms and move the arms over to the right and reach out through your left fingertips accessing the side body and keeping the hips grounded keeping both sides of the body stable and rooted and then as you breathe in lift your left arm up and around and move into a twist where the left hand is coming aligned with your lower back. The right arm is going to come over to the side 
of the legs. So bring up nice and tall as you breathe in. And then if you exhale, a gentle twist, the rib cage thins. And the gaze just goes wherever the gaze wants to go. So there's no cranking for the neck. It's comfortable. So you are where you are in the pose, working with yourself, befriending yourself as you breathe, as you massage your organs and the little twist. Then as you breathe out, sink into the feet, feel the texture beneath your fingertips. And as you breathe in, just turn your direction, your chin um, towards your heart center. And then unravel the spine. Bring the shoulders up, back, and down, up, back, and down. And then let them slide down the spine. Let your palms open back so the hands are resting down. Here I am, breathe in. Hands come to the heart center, palms press into the heart. I am here, breathing out. You can stay seated as you are in this position, or the hands can lovingly come to the sides of the knees if you're sitting cross-legged, and switch the crossings of your feet, or you can reach the legs out long or bring the soles of the feet together. Re-establishing that sense of stability and support in your hips and your legs, you can lean a little bit more forward um, to lengthen the lower back or have a blanket or a towel um, nearby and, and boost yourself up that way. And then when you're ready, uh, directing your awareness into your heart and your breath into your heart, let's let the heart lead so the heart is going to guide you forward. And you're going to continue to lengthen out of your lower back and then the arms will spill so sweetly out in front as you move into a forward fold, meeting friends, you know, meeting a sensation with your breath. And then as you breathe out, breathe all the way out. And either side you choose, you can stay exactly where you are, or you can tip out the fingers and lengthen the spine. Move the arms over to the left and reach out through the right fingertips, bowing the head. As you breathe into the side bodies, so both side bodies, right? Let's just invite some openness into the left here too as we activate the right. And then sinking down, down, down into your seat. Inhale, lift the right arm up and over and bring the right fingertips aligned with your lower back, tinting them out behind you as you bring the left arm up and the left hand rests on the side of the leg. Sitting up nice and tall. Breathing in, breathe out, sink into your seat. And just gently let the rib cage begin to spin. And the gaze goes wherever the gaze goes, just as long as it's comfortable for the neck. And then when you're ready, when you breathe out, breathe all the way out and feel down into your seat you're grounded, how you're supported, feel your fingertips. With your in-breath, direct your chin towards the direction of your heart center and unravel that way. And when you arrive, shrug your shoulders up, back, and down three times. And invite your palms to open. Let the backs of the hands rest down. If this gesture for some reason just doesn't not feel good, don't do it. Let your hands rest in another way that feels open and connected. And wherever you are, breathing in, here I am. I am here. 
sayang Sayang ya And what do you mean By here right now So you look complete And satisfy your pockets Is it just a few more moments To sit tall Or another sleeper Or resting in the belly Or the child pose And by sequence I mean just moving into another pose Feel the weight of the hands. When we are here with ourselves and we're close to the present moment with ourselves, we can stay open in curiosity to our needs and to nurturing them with responsive action that is aligned to our best interests. So maybe stillness is the remedy, maybe it's a little bit more of flow. Maybe you're really ready for conscious rest, and that is the space that I will hold in this video. Now, if you find that um, you're like, oh, I'm going to do my own thing, then do your own thing, and now let's say I will hold um, a few minutes in the video for a shavasana for conscious rest. Because sometimes, at least I do, I need a timekeeper because I, um, yeah, kind of need someone to hold that space for me so I can just breathe and be and not receive. So um, if you are moving into a place for Shavasana, for conscious rest, you're moving into a shape where the breath can meet you with ease, okay? This is the point in the practice where you feel really supported. Well, I hope you have felt supported the whole practice by your breath and your choices. Um, then, and then this time, the body is going to be positioned in a way or in a shape um, that really activates receiving the breath, receiving um, comfort and care. So that can be on your belly or child's pose or resting on your back or on your side in a fetal like position. And as you find that place of rest, Beginning to relax down into it, opening your awareness into how you're held by the ground, by your breath, by the part of yourself that is very wise and knowing and deeply kind. And there the breath just meets you with ease, soothing. Here I am. I am here. Staying close to the breath. Staying close to yourself, I will cue when it is time to transition, breathe and be.
twisting in your body. Utterly relaxed, utterly at ease. As Thich Nhat Hanh says, I have arrived. I am home. I am no longer running from myself. I have arrived. I am home. I am no longer running from myself. And so perhaps inviting those words to be a gentle inquiry or invitation to be a little bit closer to yourself, to affirming that whatever is going on in your heart or whatever um, season of life you are in right now, right? Because we can be in spring, but perhaps be in our own internal winter or fall or summer. And so whatever is going on, knowing that you have the capacity to be present for yourself. Here I am, I am here. Embracing whatever is here with a cradling of consciousness that affirms belonging. So nothing is left out. And there's no part of yourself you need to run away from. If you can meet it with the slowness of your breath, a deeper dose of compassion. If that just feels oh, like not accessible today, totally fine. Just be in the current of your breath. And then checking in with yourself if you find that, hey, I could just really use more time to rest. Rest. Make that courageous decision to just be where you are and breathe. If you're ready to close out this practice um, with me, uh, I invite you to rise into a comfortable seat, but let that transition be steady and slow. Engage your fingers, your toes. Let the crown of the head be the last one to rise. And when you show up for yourself in a dignified, comfortable seat, broadcasting presence, opening your heart, opening your senses, let your hands gather in any place that would feel connective and supportive and welcoming and invite a moment to be in soft appreciation for showing up for doing the work and the work is really the practice of being here here I am I am here and just affirming you can always come back home you can always arrive back home to the moment to yourself by coming back home to your breath and thank you so much for showing up, for sharing your practice, for sharing your shine. And the light in me salutes to the light in you. Namaste. Thank you. Take sweet care. Go gently. Shine on.